Hi guys, this is Rakesh here and uh, um, I'm from ITversity. I hope you have, you have subscribed to this channel which is a free open uh, ITversity in which we are um, we have explained uh, various uh, technology stacks. Uh, right now we are focusing on big data stack so that is why you can see Hadoop administration, AWS, Linux administration and uh, many more uh, playlists are also there. So guys, uh, um, kindly look into these uh, playlists. I think uh, you need not to go to any other, uh, you need not to uh, go to any class once you uh, once you subscribe to these channels for at least big data. Yeah, it can save you your money a lot. I am working on Apache Spark and um, I hope you have seen the previous videos as well. So guys, uh, today my video topic is how we can load real data from relational databases like MySQL, Oracle, SysBase, DB2 into my uh, Apache Spark. So you can say that okay we have scoop but I'll say scoop is good when you have a, a abundance of data in your relational database and you want to export and import uh, from your uh, HDFS to relational database and from your relation database to HDFS. Whereas uh, there's a there's a feature which is given to us from Spark APIs in which what we can do is if we have ad hoc queries, if I suppose need to know what is the count of that particular table, uh, in any any particular table, what I can do is I can just uh, I can just call a JDBC RDD and I can get the results. So it is very simple. For that, what we can do is I have a uh, what we can do is I have a um, I can show you. So guys, I already have a ltpserver.itversity.com, um, which is nothing but uh, my own virtual uh, Linux box, uh, which I had installed uh, with the use of VMware. Uh, if you have followed uh, some videos in ITversity, then you'll get to know what this HTTP server is. But what I can do is I can simply log in into it. And I have a, a user called, I have installed MySQL on the same and I have a user called as demo underscore user. The password is it ITversity. Yeah, so I can use demo as my database and if I'll say select star from person which is my table. So yes, select star from person. So as you can see the records are here with us. So there are about five records. Now to get these records loaded into my system uh, or into my Apache Spark application, I have written a simple program which is here. Yeah, JDBC RDD example dot Scala. So guys, this is very simple uh, 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 program which I had written. Uh, if you can see the object name is JDBC RDD example and in the main program, I have initialized few variables like the variable like URL, variable like username and the password. So now you can see that uh, I have, I'm using my databases demo and this is the address of uh, where my database uh, demo is installed and uh, JDBC, MQS, uh, MySQL is as it is. Username is demo user and the password is itversity. I hope you have seen this particular initialization for JDBC driver in in an application where you are calling or where you want to make connections with uh, relational services through JDBC. And I hope you are aware of these two variables, which are very simple. Again, what I'm doing is I'm 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 initializing a variable called as conf, which is nothing but a Spark conf, and giving uh, my application name is JDBC RDD and master is local to. I'm running it in my local. And then I have initialized my variable Spark context. Guys, once this is done, all you need to do is you need to call or you need to initialize a JDBC RDD through it. 
how you can do that is JDBC RDD and there are few parameters which you need to give. The first parameter is nothing but a spark context and the next parameter is to make a connection. For that this is a lambda expression for get connections. I hope you are aware of that in which I'm passing URL, username and password. Then a query what I want to get out of it. Like what are really, uh, like if you have seen how we call a database and so this is a query which will be called. There are a few, uh, 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 there are a few, um, what I'll say, uh, so there are two question marks and the two question mark represent these values. Three which is a lower bound that where from which Q or from which row you want to get the values and five is the upper bound that uh, what is the maximum length what is the maximum rows you want to get out of it one is nothing so if uh, yeah one is nothing but a number of partitions now you can see the lower bound and upper bound one is nothing but a number of partitions suppose i have 100 records and uh, i have given partitions as two so what it will do is it will fetch 0 to 50 or 49 records in one go and then rest 50 records in another go and this expression is nothing guys but a result set in which I'm what I'm doing is I want my RDD to get a result set with values as the last name as first and then a comma followed by the first name this is it and then what I'm doing is guys um, What I'm doing is I'm printing the values and I'm saving it in text file. So let me call this and uh, yeah, but before calling this, you need to do, uh, you need to make a change in your POM file. Uh, guys, we need to connect to JDBC. So for that, we need a JD, MySQL JDBC connector, which is MySQL connector and the version is 5.1.31. You can get the same from, uh, yeah, here. I think the Maven repository link has been given here. You need to include it in your program. Once that this is done, then I think you are good to go. Run as come. Let me. So you can see the Spark version is 141. Yeah, I think it has initiated or started the Spark UI. Guys, you can see, yeah, 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 yeah. the records are coming. Like Trina, Kef, and APJ Brilam, the last records. Uh, what we can do is, instead of three, you can say zero. And let me call this again. I know it will run partially and partially it will fail. Can you guess why it will fail? So you got the results like all the names but it failed. Why? Because file already existed. So what we can do is I can go in my C drive, JDBC, yeah. So this was already there and it must have created with two records, which were the previous records. Yep, yeah, that's it. I think uh, this is it about my uh, video. Guys, if you have any questions or any, any um, Anything related to Big Data and Apache Spark, kindly get in touch with us. But for that, you need to subscribe to this channel. And soon we'll be, if, and if you have any suggestions, kindly let me know. Uh, we'll uh, probably, uh, we'll definitely get back to you. And I think this is it for uh, for now. And um, yep, thank you guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.